afternoon everyone this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle by virtual called happy birthday Sven um, I'm actually queue jumping a little bit with this one because this puzzle is already being brought a little bit late because Sven's birthday was I think about three or four weeks ago maybe more um, but um, this is when I got it and I'm dropping it into my queue. I would like to thank everyone who has submitted puzzles to me over the last five or six days. I've actually had quite a few puzzles come in, um, in the gap where I haven't been recording. So thank you everyone. That has been amazing. I've got a lot of puzzles to look through. Um, that doesn't mean I don't want more submissions. It just means I've got a lot to look through. Happy birthday, Sven. Sven is one of the most important people in the Sudoku community, as far as I'm concerned. He's the person who creates the Sudoku Pad app, which is the web app that I create all of the puzzles in and I solve on for my um, my uh, for my channel. So all of the puzzle links I provide are in Sven's Sudoku Pad web app. Um, he's the one who has put in all of the tools to allow us to use the letters and has built the killer cage in recently and all of the, the wonderful tool that we can use for this. Um, uh, it's also known as the Cracking the Cryptic app. Um, so all of the videos that Cracking the Cryptic do are done using Sven Sudoku Pad. Um, and he's also got an app that you can download on Steam or I believe on Google Play or the iOS store. Um, it's available for Windows. It's available available for Mac, although that version is still, I think, a little bit flaky. I've tried it, um, but it is available on many, many platforms and you can dump the puzzles into that and then keep a catalogue of puzzles available for it. Sven puts so much work in. He's got a YouTube channel where he often streams the development of the, the pack. Um, people can recommend improvements for it and he will basically base on um, people who are... Uh, active in the community, uh, puzzle creators and all of that will be able to say what they would find useful and he'll try and prioritize all of that work. He puts so much time and effort into uh, making a tool that is incredibly valuable for the community that, yeah, all I can say is thank you, Sven, for everything you do and happy belated birthday. Um, so I'm hoping that I can solve this puzzle and wish you a happy birthday in puzzle form. Um, and thank you, Virtual, for creating this puzzle and sending it through. Um, so yeah, I will throw links to all of Sven's stuff that I can find. He's got a Patreon page where, yeah, if you want to support the work he does, because he does provide, um, the web app for free, um, that would be a wonderful thing that you could do to support Sven. Um, or you can buy the Sven Sudoku Pad app for your you know, Windows, for, um, iOS or for, um, Android. Um, all of those would help support Sven and he really does deserve it. He does so much work. Anyway. On to the puzzle. Happy birthday, Sven, by virtual. Um, so, yeah, only a few rules in play, um, all of them standard. So we have normal Sudoku rules, which means in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Then we have Kropke pairs, which means that we have black Kropke dots, which are ratio dots. Um, so on a black dot, the cells that are separated by a black dot must be in a one to two ratio, or one must be double the other. Um, we have white dots, which means that cells separated Separated by a white dot must be consecutive, or one must be one higher or one lower than the other. Um, not all black or white dots are given. So, um, yes, which means that these cells could be consecutive, these could be consecutive, these could be in a one to two ratio. All we have is positive information that where there is a black or a white dot, um, those must adhere to those rules. Um, did I talk about Renban lines? I don't think I did. Renban lines. The pink lines are Renban lines. Um, and these lines must contain a set of the consecutive digits in any order. And the way I try and um, think about that is where you, if you were to take the digits that finally, and they can't repeat. So if you were to take the digits that are on the line at the from the solved grid off the line and sort them, they would be a run of consecutive digits. Um, so um, without any digit doubling. So um, that's the way I try and think about it. Um, yeah, so for example, these are all quite long, so it's hard to do an example. But if one of the digits, for example, on this line was a one, then we would know all of the other digits, because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven long. The other digits would have to be two through seven. 
because I couldn't repeat a digit, so I couldn't put another one here. Um, and because I, if I was to put an eight here, for example, then I would have a gap because I couldn't get from one to eight um, without uh, leaving a gap on a seven cell line. Um, so yeah, non-repeating consecutive digits in any order. So I could put the one and the seven here. They don't have to be consecutive. That's all fine. So let's give this a shot. After the worst explanation of Renban lines I've ever given in my life. Um, so the most obvious thing to me is a run of black crop key dots. Um, so through, for reasons I've covered many times in the past, but I'll go through quickly again, this must be two, four, because the only digits you can put on a black crop key dot are one, two, three, four, six or eight. You can't, three and six are only in a relationship with each other. So if I was to put a three or a six in here, the other digits on the outside would have to be the other one. So three here would put two sixes, six would put two threes. So you're only left with one, two, four, and eight. If I was to put a one in the middle, these would both be two. If I was to put an eight in the middle, these would both be four. So that it has to go one, two, four um, in either direction or two, four, eight in either direction. And there must be a two or a four on this line. So this can't have a two or a four. So this is one, three, six, or eight, which means this is two, four, three, or six. This is the same, yep, one, three, six, eight. So this is two, three, four, or six. Oh, I've got another one here. This is two or four. These are one, two, four, two, four, eight. I am not doing well with fingers today. Two, four. Oh, this one's better because I can't put one, two because I don't have a two. I can't put two, four for many reasons and I can't put four, eight because I don't have a four. So this is a three, six, which takes three, six off this line. So this is one, eight or two, four. I now have one, two, four, eight as a quad. So that takes one, eight out of there, which means this is a three, six. If I'd looked at this first, this would have flowed a lot better. Mm, can I? Hang on. Two, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it must contain a two. Nine can't go on that line. Five must go on that line. If it starts with one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if it start and if it starts with two to go to eight, I must include a seven. I must put a seven on that line. So this is a five seven pair. Because I can't put a seven or a five on a black dot. And yet this line must contain a five and a seven. In fact, what must go on a seven cell line? The only digits that can possibly not be on a five cell line are one, two, eight, and nine. So these are one, two, eight, and nine. And they can't be two in this case because two has to go over here. So these are one, eight, and nine and must contain a nine. So this is nine and whatever the digit that isn't on this is. So over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this is going to be the same. This, wait a minute. So, oh no, it's not. What? Uh, no, it's not. Because this can't be one eight. So these are going to be closer together, but I still need to put five or seven on this line in those cells. But that line could contain a nine because these don't have to contain. If this doesn't contain a. If this doesn't contain a one, then there's a two at the end because it'll become two, four, eight, which will put a two on the line. So there's either a one or a two at the end of this line. And if it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It, if this is two, then this is two and eight. And these are all forced. 
In fact, that would have to be a four. If, the, you know, if this is two eight, these are all fours. And if this is one four, I can't reach nine anyway. I can never put a nine on this line. And I must put a five or a seven on this line. And I can't put them there because of the black dot. There's something weird going on here. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place though. But one of these dots must be three, six. Hang on, there's something very weird going on here as well. One of them must be one, two, and one of them must be... One of them must be one, two, or four, eight, and the other must be three, six. Because I can't use two, four. Because that would break that cell. That, of course, has been sitting there for a very long time. This must be 3-6 because I've got... Oh, this is a trick I've used how many times in solves? People who watch my channel a lot. All of these cells are on black Kropke dots. There is only three digits that can't go on black Kropke dots. Those are 5, 7, and 9. And I've just proved that can't be a 9 because I cannot put 9 on that line. Because if I do, this is broken. because I can't get from 9 down to 2, and there would be a 2 in one of these if this is 2, 4, 8. So that can't be a 9. So 9 is in one of those two. If this is a 9, this becomes 4, 8, because if this is 1, 2, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. Are these all 7 long? Yeah, they're all 7 long. This is 3, 6. This is 3, 6. I need to put 3, 6 in here. Three and six both go in there. I need to put three and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven needs three and six on the line. This is the, or nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I need to put three and six onto this red band line. Well, they can't go there. They can't go there. They can't go there. That is a three, six pair. So this cannot be 3, 6, because it sees both of those. That is not 3, 6. This is a 3, 6 pair. And that cell is the same as that cell. So could I figure more of this out? These are... That is the same as that, so it has to go up here. I need another three six. I need another three six on this line. It needs to be different to that. So it could be either of those. So one of those is three or six, but I. One of these is three, six. I, I, I'm getting lost. That can't be. So one of those is three, six, but only one. So that can't be three, six now. Because if this was three, six, I couldn't make one of those three, six. This has to be a three, six pair. Because I need to put another three, six on this line. I can't put it here because I don't have it here. One of these dots needs to be three, six. 
because if I made them one, two, four, eight, that's broken. So one of these needs to be three, six, and I need to put a three, six on this line. If I put a three, six here, I can't put a three, six on either of those dots. That has to be the three, six. Okay, that gives me a three, six pair here. Pardon me, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna color these three sixes so I can see. I think I've done this in, a, in another puzzle recently. So I need to put two threes and sixes in here. I think I could still put them there. So this is now one, two, or four, eight. And the two, four has to go here. So this is one or eight. And that gives me a one, two, because I can't put two, four here. So it's either one, two, or four, eight. I need to put two, three, sixes on this line. And I can't put them there, and I can't put them there, and I can't put it there. That is a 3-6 pair. Which makes that a 3-6 pair. Well, not that uh, a 3-6. I'm still going to put two 3-6s into this box, and I've got 3-6s full in that column and in that row, and they can't be 3 six. This is absolutely nuts. Happy birthday, Sven. This is crazy. Three six in this row has to be there. I've already got this box full. I've already got this box full with one of them. That row column is full. That column is full of three sixes. This is a three six. So I've now got two, 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 and two. I've got to be able to finish this off. This column needs a three six and it has to go there. And that is all the three sixes. That is beautiful. It's crazy, but beautiful. That's five, seven, nine now. So what do... That's five, seven, nine. This is two, four, seven, or nine. No, two, four, f five, or seven. Pay attention. Why did I get seven or nine as being consecutive with six? So this is two or four. Yeah, it could still go pretty high. Now, this is a run of consecutive, and this is more powerful than a, than a whisper but it's only three long. Now I can't do one, two, three. I can't use a three or a six, so that's gotta be limiting. I can't do one, two, three. I can't do two, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, out. Four, five, six is out because I can't use six because of the three, six pair. Four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, or all, it's gotta be seven, eight, nine. That is seven, eight, nine, because everything else requires a three or a six. That puts an eight in the middle, Wow. And these are one, two, four, and five. And that's not two or four. Wait a minute. That puts two or four down here. I've, sorry, two and four in this row because I can't put them up here, which means this is not two, four, which means this is the one eight. And because this has to go one, two, four, or two, four, eight, that means this is not the one eight anymore, and that is a two, four pair. So this is either one, two, four, or two, four, eight. That's a two, four pair. Do I need to start coloring two fours? The answer is maybe. All I know is my gut tells me maybe.
hang on, there needs to be a seven on a Ramban line, and I can't put it in any of those. One of those has to be a seven. So that's not seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven would work. This would be a five, seven pair. Or this could be a five, this could be, yeah, that all works. What about down here? This is more limited now. Seven is there or down there. So this is one or eight, which means that's the extreme digit, doesn't it? If it's one, it's got to go two to seven. And if it's eight, it's got to go seven to two. So this is, these are, there's no nine here. Hang on. No, that's completely wrong. Because I could go nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So nine, eight, seven, six. That doesn't work because if this is nine, this has to be seven, five, and that breaks that cell. That's not easy to see. So that's not nine. Maybe I could have done something better by marking this. This is two, four, five, or seven. So this has to be the extreme digit now. Because oh, maybe I can put a nine here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three could work. I don't need to put two, four. I don't need to put two on that rim band. I need to put four. So which Renban is giving me, I know there's a seven in one of those, but that only sees these cells. It means there's a seven in one of those two. Hang on, there's a five, seven there. That's a nine now. Not that helpful. What might be helpful is nine is in one of those. Nine can't be up here. So nine is in one of those three. That top ring band. If it's four, two, four, eight, that's right. I can't put a nine on this rain band. There's a nine in one of those two. This is one, two. I wonder if this is a thing. If this is one, two, this becomes four and this becomes eight. So that would be the other version and this would be blue. So those digits are the same. This would be blue. So this would be blue. So this would be green, but I don't know which of these. 
So there'll be a blue two four in here and a green one eight. So there's a blue one eight in here. Like that, if it was two four, couldn't be blue, but could it be green? So we know that this is one, if this is one, two, four, then I, if this is one, two, four, I need to put a two somewhere on this Ren band. And if this is two, four, eight, I've got to put the four. That digit is that digit. That's a green two, four. Because if this is one, two, four, I need to put the I need to put a two somewhere on the ram band and it can't go in any of those cells. So that becomes the two that has gone in the middle. If this is two, four, eight, the four that's gone in here has to go in the ram band and it can't go somewhere there. Those are the same digit. So that's not a two or a four. So this is a two, four pair. So that is green. And that is blue. I now need to put a green two four up there, which doesn't help me at all. But I've now got a two and a four on this Ren band. But I don't know what that is. So two, three, four. I've got the two, I've got the three. I've got the four. I don't. Five may go here. So five, seven I know goes in here. So this is either one, five, seven. So these are either one, five, seven or eight. They're the only possibilities because it's either two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this, or it's one, five and seven. And five could be here if this is one, but if this is seven, eight, then this is five. So that's one, five, seven, eight. I'm missing something here. If this is eight, this is, if these are eight and seven, this is five. This is one, these are five and seven. So there's got to be something with this colouring. I don't see how I can... One of these is blue. One of these is a green 1.8 and the other one is a blue 2.4. Blue 2.4. Four. See, that that sees a blue 2.4. It also sees a green 2.4. So that's not 2.4. So that's 5 or 7. I don't know that I want to colour five sevens and nines. Wait a minute, that's five seven. Neither of which is consecutive with three. That's a six, that's a three. That's a three, that's a six. Which doesn't see anything. except it does via the Ren band. That's a three, that's a six, that's a three, that's a six, 
that's a six, that's a three, that's a six, that's a three, that's a six, that's a three, that's a six, that's a three. That's a very pretty trick. That's a three and that's a six. Six is not consecutive with two or four. That's a five, seven, nine. There's no five, seven in there. This is a one, eight. So that means that's the extreme digit on the line again. And there's no nine on that line. Wait a minute. There's no nine on that line because I've got, I had to put a two on it. So that's the extreme digit. So none of these can be one or eight. Yeah, the only place I can put a seven is there. The only place I can now put a five is there. That's now a nine and that's a seven. That's now a one. I don't know the color. Yes, I do. That's a one. That is a blue one. That is a green eight. And now I know the coloring. Blue is one, two. And green is four, eight. So those are not four or one because that's two, four, eight. And I don't know the order yet, but it does take eight out of those. And that becomes a one, nine pair, which means that is eight. Do I want to keep this coloring? Mm. It may still help. Uh, green is four. I kind of feel it's not going to. I'm actually going to try without the coloring. Okay, so these are five, seven, and nine. Um, five and seven is done. I need to put a one in that row. So these are five, seven, and nine, and I know I can't put a nine on the red band. In fact, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the five sevens here, when they resolve, will do something. That five makes that seven, which makes that five, which makes that seven. One, so this is one, two, three. I need to put a four on that line. I need to put a five on that line, which makes that seven and that five. This is now a fully resolved Ren band. Actually, I think all the Ren bands are now resolved. So now I'm just down to Sudoku with one Kropke dot unresolved. Oh, yay for me. Uh, eight and nine go in there. Being all that is missing in the column. One, two, three, four, five which means neither of those are five. That's seven, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be an eight. There's no seven in there and I've made a mistake. Oh no, there's a five. That's what has happened. That's the nine. That's the five. And that is all kind of working. There is a five right there by Sudoku with four fives looking into the box. Uh, this could be one, two. Can't be, so one, two is possible. Can't be two, three. Can't be three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Could be seven. Uh, can't be seven, eight. Because for seven, eight, I'd need to put one of seven or eight in there. And it can't be, can it be eight, nine? No, it can't be eight, nine. So this is one, two. So these are one, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. And there's no seven in those. So that would be the seven. This is four, eight. But this gives me more pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's given me an X-wing in eights. And I'm terrible at explaining X-wings. Basically, eight has to go into one of those positions in... Oh, actually, I don't need to use the X-wing in eights. But, so that's good. That is a four, which makes that an eight, which makes that a four. Um, which means that is a two and that is an eight. But basically what it would have meant is if I put an extra eight, I could have got that as a nine because if I would put an extra eight anywhere in these, I would have had to have broken the other row. But that becomes a nine, which means this becomes a one, which means this becomes a nine, which means this becomes a one. This is a far, no, not a five, because I've got one right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven and eight. And there is an eight, seven and eight. 
This box is now resolved. I just don't know how yet. That would be a nine and that would be a two. Uh, five, seven, and nine, not yet. That is an eight. That is a four. That is an eight. Uh, this column is all but done. Once I put a two in, it is done. These are one, five, and nine. There is no five in the middle. There's no nine at the bottom. Have I made a mistake? So there's a four. Five, that's a seven. And that's a nine, and that's a one, and that's a two. I think that's correct. That's one. All right, I get to this point where it's advanced scanning, and I've made so many mistakes at this point in videos recently that I just get paranoid. Nine, five. These are one and four, and the one directly below resolves it. This now has to be a two. Uh, four looks up making that five and that four and the seven looks up making that nine and that seven and that is a solution i don't think it took me 54 minutes according to the video clock it took me just over 30 i just keep forgetting to reset my timer um, because i load up the puzzle and then i set up the all of the stuff that you can see with the rules and the camera and all of that sort of stuff and i forget to hit the reset button eh. um yeah that was a really, really cool puzzle, and I hope Sven did actually manage to solve that one, and he likes it, and if he ever sees this video, I hope he likes the video. I cannot thank Sven enough for everything he does, and I hope that you appreciate what he does as well. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, many, many thanks to Sven. We never thank him enough, and yeah, all I can do is say thank you Sven again and I uh, hope if there's anything that Sven needs from me I will if he reaches out to me I will happily try and do it um yeah thanks everyone for watching and as always good luck with your solving